Hey everybody, it's MarsBlown50 here, and today, welcome back to another very leggy episode of Stormworks. So, if you guys have seen the last episode, you might have seen that we are doing a crane build, a mega crane build. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed that video. I know my leg is horrible on this game, so let's get right into it. So, uh, yeah, here we are. We have what we got done last time. We pretty much got the tracks and the primary body done. And by the way, I remember with this how to do this one, this part again. It's it's really kind of you know not amazing. The paint back here. So. We're going to update that. So today I'm hoping we can get most of the primary function done. So let's get started right away. Um, let's of course cut out uh, for the window. The window's here. So let's go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three to make sure all the windows fit. One, two, three. And um, one, two, three, one, two, three, and let's go up again and I think one more block sideways. So I think that's pretty much it for the window slot there. Let's place here, place there, place here, place there. And place here, place there, and on this side we're going to need a door. But first let's put in our floor, no rhyme intended. So, here. You know, it's kind of weird, I hear, I hear some sort of construction outside. Um, so I don't know exactly what that is. Um, so here's our door, I guess. Let's add on a pivot, or sorry, hinge, a robotic hinge. Because we're not exactly, I, I'm not exactly intending this door here to be tight, uh, sealed tight. We're just going to use the regular robotic hinge. So we need that. And let's cut out three spaces. Because that's exactly how much this needs. So there. And we're going to. Okay. Uh, I feel something's wrong with this here. Yep. Um, okay. This is the center. So keep that there. Wrong color. So let's go here. And here. 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 And let's just leave this like a door. Just there because this is this is the door into our cab control center area and we're going to need one two three one two three go to the root one two three so I feel like we're gonna cut this out there just so we can put like some some sort of window there because we really need high visibility on a large vehicle like this one. So, <clears throat> there, and there. So let's go get some window. Okay, that's not how you spell window. Window. Then place that 
turn that there, 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 and uh, there. Now, remember how I said it would look very crappy at the beginning and a bit better later into the build? You see what I mean here, you guys? Uh, so, yeah. Let's make this mostly out of glass. Because, like I said, we need high visibility on a vehicle like this. Um, so, let's twist this on top of each other. Place, place. Or if I had my audio up for Stormworks. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that that's sealed there. Not sealed, but um, sealed, because... <clears throat> yeah. So we're going to place these windows along the one bit parts to fill all of it in. And so we're going to need <coughs> a window wedge, a one by one window wedge to go on to here. What? Um, okay, now this makes sense. Okay, now this doesn't make sense. <sighs> what? Okay, let's just place on top of this. With this. And... Keep going. I really hope you guys get as used to the lag as I am, because I, I noticed that it kind of does make my videos quite a bit low quality with that. So, I hope you guys still do enjoy watching my videos. So, yeah, like I was saying in the last one, I really hope you guys do enjoy these videos for Stormworks. Leave a comment down below if you think they, well, if you think I should stop recording with Stormworks or what, where I should improve on my videos. So, yeah. I'm going to cut out some windows here for also higher visibility. Because high visibility, we need that. <laughs> this is just kind of This is just kind of reminding me of those massive harbor cranes that they would have at older shipyards and stuff. And how they would just have like four windows just like this at the front. Um, so that, I say that looks quite good. So let's place our seat down. Okay. Um, translate. Controller presses. Okay, um. Axis. Axis. What? Okay. There's a lot of hotkeys on this. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of hotkeys on that. So we're just going to stick with our regular driver's seat for this. Um, let's place that down. And let's also hope that I remember the logic for the clutch and everything. So yeah, I'll, pu I'll place our massive electric engine in here. Let's make this a ooh, an electric diesel engine uh, because we want it to be electric powered but we also want it to be diesel uh, we also need a generator we want it to generate diesel 
So we'll also build a custom gas tank because the current gas tanks are much too small. So yeah, let's place down our motors. Let's turn on symmetry. Uh, I don't think I was building other than Stormworks at all. Well, uh, anything on Stormworks that would need the offset. Have I? Uh, okay. So, motors. There we go, just checking if it's correct. Yep. Perfect. Um, though nothing is perfect, so let's just pretend it is. Um, give me a moment. Uh, yeah, um, let's get onto our piping. And here, let's put it instead of that. All right. And yeah, let's go place our pipe. Here and here, 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 continue on. So keep placing, and we're gonna need a pipe system that goes up through here from our clutches and everything. Um, so I'll keep deleting till we can get a proper pipe system up here. Do uh, ha, ha, ha. do do. I just realized something that we are going to need to have one electric engine. It's still really powerful, but. We can only have one electric engine because there's one slot for it to go on. So, yeah. Let's go keep on placing and delete a spot for our pipe there we go almost directly smack dab above the place we need it to be so let's place our pipe along here to the right position okay for some reason it won't go the way we want it to, so we'll just place it. And yeah, now it goes down into here. Now, little pivot, we have entrusted you to make all the power go through and also turn this entire whole massive crane that will probably extend up like really high <sighs> like that uh so yeah let's go and in closer to be able to hook up all the piping to the clutches and everything so Where's our clutching? So we're gonna. Oh, whoopsie! 
Yep, symmetry is on. Symmetry is on. One and two. We have just hit the surface. So we have mechanical energy going through that outlet uh, that will go down into the clutches that can make the same turn and then into the tracks which makes it also move. So let's form a line and see if we can find that hole right here one block off and turn it and make this go down and uh huh down, 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 and we want this to turn. Also, if you guys do see this video in time for our poll, tonight at approximately 7, we are having a poll to decide the Cats and Boats Kitty Commando logo. We have four options for you guys, five options, sorry. Uh, the Fourth and fifth are quite similar, just a bit of a different, just a slightly different color scheme and lettering size. So, um, if you guys are interested, uh, you guys can go come check that out. Uh, you'll be able to find that on. The, I'll, I'll post the Slido. I'll post the Slido code, probably on the Cats and Boats Kitty Commando website, um, in the forum. Or blog, which I'll leave the comment down below. I'll uh, leave in the description to that site. So yeah, let's keep moving with this piping to make sure we can get it to the clutch. Cluck 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 clutch. Yeah, now we have our motor and everything hooked up. So, all we need is a battery for it to actually move now, but we don't have our steering in yet. So let's just, um, because why not, let's just do it for the heck of it now. Uh, let's make left and right rotation, and A and D, we don't have that hooked up yet. W and S to the motor. And also, we'll take a throttle and put it in the door. <coughs> Excuse me. We need a throttle in the door so we can open and close it because it is um, a value, a variable pivot. So let's go hook this up to the door. Uh, let's go with, we want to show the arrows. Positive. We'll, oh no. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to need to edit this a tiny bit. We want it to go maximum value zero, minimum value minus one. So, uh, all we need is a couple of massive batteries in this thing and it will work. So, let's go place those massive batteries right now. We'll have one battery that will go to our cab and ground stuff and then we'll probably we'll, we'll have one battery going to everything around the vehicle except for the end the motor and we'll have one battery going yeah straight to the motor so this is for round vehicle 
and let's connect that up. Connect this up. Connect that up to that clutch there too. And connect this up to this battery. Now our whole thing will work. So let's just give it a slight test right now. And again, sorry about this horrible lag. Oh, why am I getting such a lag spike? <laughs> Actually, I just made a bit of a mistake. We need a ladder on this thing. Because it's much too big without a ladder. Okay, and since we have enough batteries, we're just going to replace it with batteries and bring it all down here. I love, I, I kind of love and I hate how the tracks and the wheels are. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So let's just go fix that problem. That'll work. So let's go climb this ladder. I did not click R. I did not mean to go with the edits. So it should only go straight right now. Okay, let's see if this door actually works. Yep. And it is looking like one heck of a dangerous door. So, throttle lever. And let's go into our driver's seat here. Should work. Oh yeah, the clutch. So, this should rotate. I wonder why this, uh, yeah, it's really heavy. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, I see what it is. It's the ladder. You guys, it's the ladder. The ladder causing problems again. Um, yeah, let's break it up into there. Should work. Hopefully, you know. Should th there is no should work unless you're being like really precise with mathematics or something. But when you're when you're me experimenting with Stormworks, there is no should work. Could work is probably the most correct statement. Okay. Oh wow, that actually turns much better than I thought. Yeah, this is actually, except for the problem is it's uh, the wrong way. So I'm thinking we might have to go and actually, not might, but we have to go at its seat. Up, so left, right, could we do right, left? Could we do right, left? Maybe. Okay, so... Uh-huh, yeah. So this is a big fat problem. I, I don't mean to say. Yeah. Okay, um. Hmm. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Let's just. Slow this down. 
Let's kind of maybe slow the power down a bit. So I think I hooked up our logic to WNS. Did I? Yeah. WNS. Um, it's good with the, right the clutch. Clutch, 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 clutch. Okay. So if I remember this right, we need to go get a logic. Let's go with a switch box. Because we need a switch box and we also need a threshold gate. Yeah. We need a threshold gate. So. Let's go with that, and let's go up with our threshold gate and everything. Let's just place one here, and let's place this here. So let's hook up all our logic now. I think this goes to here. Um, this probably goes to here. So, wait a moment. I think this goes here. Maybe. Yeah, I think let's 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 hook that up later, you guys, and let's start. <laughs> Actually, I I don't think we can start anything anymore, you guys. <laughs> we ran out of time for this video, uh. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, and again, sorry about the lag, and uh, sorry about all this fails and unknownness and so such little building in this episode. Um, but I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, see you guys all in the next video and possibly on the pool tonight. Bye! Yeah, okay. Uh.